I want to stress that the European Union will remain fully engaged in all crises around the world, financially and politically. I want to start with the devastating earthquake in Syria and Turkey, where more than 40,000 victims and hundreds of thousands whose houses are destroyed. There, we are providing assistance to both countries in close cooperation with the United Nations. We immediately send medical teams, and we will organize a donors' conference next month to finance the reconstruction. Au Sahel, la situation sécuritaire continue de se détériorer dans un contexte politique chaque fois plus complexe. Mais là aussi, notre volonté d'engagement demeure. Parce que nous savons que quand nous agissons, Nous les faisons de manière à répondre à la sécurité, mais aussi à la gouvernance et aux besoins humanitaires. And moving to the Western Balkans, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, I welcome the unanimous extension of the Eurofor Altea executive mandate for another year. This ensures that Altea can continue to support authorities in maintaining a safe and secure environment for all citizens on the EU-facilitated Belgrade-Pristina dialogue. On the normalization of relations, we are at a crucial juncture. The EU European Union has presented a proposal to the parties that would put the normalization process on a solid, forward-looking track. In Afghanistan, don't forget Afghanistan, Two years ago, Kabul fall, but Afghanistan is still there. And developments have gone from bad to worse because of the Taliban's actions and inactions. So we cannot continue business as usual. But at the same time, we need to avoid punishing Afghan women twice by just stopping assistance where it still could be delivered. No. If the assistance can be delivered in full respect of key principles and values, we will continue doing that.